What's up guys, it's The Hunter Project here. Welcome to my channel, where you'll find Monster Hunter news, builds, playthroughs, and everything in between. Be sure to smash the like subscribe buttons if you do enjoy it, it is extremely appreciated as we make our way to 500 subscribers. Don't forget to join our Discord, link is at the top of the description. And without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. Today I'll be going over three features I am excited for or want in Monster Hunter Rise when it releases on PC in early 2022. Let me know down below what you want to see in the PC version of Rise and I look forward to reading all of your comments. Starting off with the first one, we have the PC HD textures. So I'm not going to lie, I'm never one to prioritise graphics in a game, I always weight the gameplay with the most value. But PC ports always entice me with their high definition textures and World did this fantastically with the HD pack which only further excites me for Rise's graphical update when it releases on PC of course next year and fingers crossed it isn't delayed any like later than 2022 towards like, the beginning months but of course I wouldn't mind it being delayed if it's to make sure the game releases to a very good standard. In addition hopefully this will put an end to everyone saying that the graphics are not good which isn't even close to being true anyways the graphics are already fantastic on the switch but a graphical update due to having more system strength is always welcome so i look forward to seeing how nice the textures look on the pc version of the game next up we have full mod support similar to world but hopefully with better tracking for mods that break the game to avoid any people ruining the experience for others or even for themselves without realizing it there are mods that are able to manipulate shop items as well as quest rewards to obtain higher hunter ranks or even just broken drop rates so I really hope they do have a better system in place to search for these type of mods to like ban them even quicker than World did with its various patches that came over its life cycle. Mods in general just open up so much potential and greatly increase the already vast lifespan of a game like Monster Hunter. So I look forward to seeing what funny and even solid quality of life mods we get. This is probably going to be the change that I look forward to the most coming from the Switch version of the game. Of course we're going to have a year to play the Switch version before we get the PC version. And mods are probably going to be the vital thing that switch up what the differences will be between the two uh, versions of the games. Next up we have uncapped frame rate at 4k hopefully or even higher than that I'm not really too bothered about the graphical uh, capability the uncapped frame rate is the main thing that I'm looking forward to I really hope they are able to pull it off without breaking the game and having us have to have specific set uh, caps to the frame rate but regardless as long as it's above like 144 I'm fine with that because of course I have a 144 Hertz monitor so after that it's just mostly input that will be uh, like helped out so I'm not too fussed if they have a cap as long as it's a relatively high one, that would be awesome, as I would love to see buttery smooth frames while wire bugging around the world. And this is a no-brainer to be fair, as it is pretty common, like it's a pretty common standard nowadays for PC versions of games to have extremely high limits to their frame rates, if not uncapped. And so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 100% going to be in the game, and I look forward to it. And I know I said uh, there's three features I'm excited for for this video. But I'm going to add in an extra bonus one at the end, which is cross save. So this is a little extra one and I really hope they do bring this over by allowing us to connect our Steam accounts to Nintendo. Of course, Monster Hunter is a game I will gladly play from scratch a year later on a better system with higher FPS and graphical fidelity. But having the ability to swap from portable to a much more powerful docked machine with the same character would be such an amazing feature. So I really hope they do look into this and make this happen. This does bring us to the end of the video guys, if you did enjoy be sure to smash the like subscribe button, it's extremely appreciated as we make our way to 500 subscribers. Don't forget to join our discord, link is at the top of the description and comment down below what things you want to see on the PC version of Monster Arise. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.